MDR stands for Medical Device Reprocessing, and what we do is we, we process all the instrumentation and all the products for the operating rooms. We make sure that we do it in a way that adheres to the, the standards that are set, and to make sure that it provides patient safety. Uh, the, the identified problem for our lean project was that we were traveling too far in pushing goods. It was dangerous. It, was, uh, it, it could pose the risk to employee safety and other patient safety down the hallway. So we wanted to reduce that, uh, that strain on our employees and to increase the safety in our tunnels. We were pulling cages all the way from the front of the department all the way to the back of the department, which is a, a fair distance. Sometimes it's heavy traffic. And it's a safety issue for patients, staff, visitors, because if somebody's coming down the hallway, you need to move out of the way or stop immediately. You could hurt yourself, hurt somebody else, and it's a long way to be pulling them. The solution to the, the problem that we identified in the Lean Project was to look at our minimum norms, look at our, our, our rotation and the amount of goods that we carried to make sure that we had the right amount of goods so that we could limit the amount of transport of non-important goods or non-necessary uh, non goods and order them as needed instead of just having them to have an extra supply. It, it took a, many football fields worth of travel away from the unit supply coordinators, which was a bonus on a couple ends. First, it, it took a lot of the carts and a lot of the pallets out of the hallway, which uh, allows a little more room for transport to bring the patients through and for fire safety issues. It was kind of a, kind of a win for everybody because with the efficiencies that we gained, they were able to spend more time doing work that actually meant something uh, instead of uh, less time doing work that was, was almost redundant. I, I think the biggest thing I learned from lean training is there's, there's always a lot more involved in the project and the solution than you originally realized. We'd come up with, with the idea together to figure out uh, an idea for the project. And to me, it didn't seem like the solution would be as, as complex as it was but it turned out to be very, very complex. There was a lot, a lot more angles to discuss. So lean training was great because it, it allows everyone to get involved and, and feel like they're part of the solution. There, there's definitely a lot more, uh, more buy-in and a lot more, and a lot more potential for success when everyone's coming together, again, from, from many levels, from many different areas even, from different departments, and they're coming to a common goal, which, which is improving efficiencies and at the end of the day, making it better for patient care and for the staff that work here.